On the home stretch. Finally we get to make the bread. This for me is one of the fun parts because I get to have a fire. I've got I've got my oven. As you can see I've got it warming up nicely. That'll take a couple of hours to warm up which is about as long as it'll take for the bread to prove. So let's start with the bread. We need a bowl. We need 550 grams of strong white bread flour, 150 grams of dark rye flour, two teaspoons full of salt, and then we want some yeast. And there's all different sorts of yeast you can try. This I found to be the best. It's a dried yeast. There is a difference between the different sorts of dried yeast. So if you're doing this for the first time, or if you're new to bread making, try a couple before you decide the one that you like. Now you can be fancy and spend a long time kneading the bread, and I'm sure that's very good for the muscles, but I'm too old for that sort of thing. There's nothing wrong with a bit of mechanisation every now and again. I'm going to put about a tablespoonful of olive oil in. And then we'll slowly add the water until we get the right consistency. Now I was a bit worried when I was doing this morning, because as you can see I've got my smart new apron on. Um, I found myself having to wear an apron over the top of the apron, because I don't want to get this one dirty, it's too good. So that's had about 10 minutes. So the next stage is a little bit of olive oil in a bowl. That is a lovely bit of dough. And we put that in there, cover it with some plastic wrap, and that's all ready to go in the proving oven. Now one of the things I was determined to have when I built this is I wanted a proving oven. That's heated directly up by the fire down below um, and that's lovely and warm now. As you can see inside the main oven now we're up to about 450 degrees Fahrenheit which is about 200 degrees centigrade. I'm just going to let that cool down now slightly so we'll get it to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll just keep it there for about two hours. That will allow that to prove uh, in the meantime, we can get on with something else. Now, if you're interested in one of these ovens, uh, there is a book you can get. There's a video on, on my YouTube channel that shows you all about it. Um, why not have a look at the channel? You never know. You might enjoy it. And there's always a danger you might like some of the other ones as well. Go on, have a look. You know you want to. That's been in the proving oven now for about an hour and a half, two hours, and it's doubled in size. And that's a lovely looking bit of dough. While we've been waiting for it to prove, um, it's been an exciting day. I've had the delivery of sand and cement for this year's big project. I try and do something every year. And this year, I'm making a cheese cave. After all, shouldn't every home have a cheese cave in the garden? If you want to know some more about that, sign up for my blog, the details of which are on the bottom of the screen now. So having given that dough a short bit of a knead, we're going to put it in this proving basket and back inside the oven. That's getting lovely and hot in there now. Now if you didn't write down the recipe, not to worry, send me an email and I'll send you back the recipe sheet. The details are now on the bottom of the screen. So we'll leave that now 
for about half an hour or so for a second proof. In the meantime, I'll stoke up the, the temperature in the oven. We'll get that lovely and hot. And then I can see a bacon sandwich. He's getting very, very close. Oh, look at that. Now that's a nicely proved loaf, isn't it? So we've got a little bit of flour on the bread peel. And this is where you see the temperature gauge really start to climb. Now do remember when we get to the end of this video, if you've enjoyed it, press the like button. Even better, subscribe to the channel. It makes quite a difference to my life and it means I can make more videos for your enjoyment. If you'd like to find out what I'm doing next, make sure you subscribe to the blog. You'll find the details at the bottom of the screen just now. Now that's the kind of heat we need right at the start of a bake because we want a nice crusty loaf. Well, it's time for the big reveal. Bread's been in here for about half an hour, so we're just about to find out what it's come out like. Remember, if you fancy one of these ovens, and they are really good, and they are tremendous fun, I must say. If you have a look at my YouTube channel, there's a whole video on how to make one, and if you're really interested, there's a book you can buy as well. Right, let's have a look and see how we've got on. I don't know about you, but that looks like a pretty good loaf to me. The test. Yep, that sounds pretty good. Um, so I think we're ready to move on to the next bit. Well, I'm not sure I can wait. That's a seriously good looking loaf. Look at that. That does look nice. And as luck would have it, I have here the smoke butter. we made yesterday and I've been waiting for this oh that is good that is very good now normally on these sort of cooking videos at the end they get all their friends and family around and uh, they have a big party and share it all out you won't see that on any of my videos this stuff's too good to share <laughs> so finally we reach the end and look at this this is the bacon that's come out the smoker doesn't that look good if you remember we cured it for five days and then it's been smoked overnight in a combination of apple and hickory and it's now ready to cook so I've got my fire here with my rather splendid frying pan. Now years ago, I used to do demonstrations as a blacksmith, but somehow they never got round to feeding us. I used to wind everybody up. So in the end, I made a frying pan, and then we could stick it on the forge, because you didn't want to put a good one on a forge. And that way, we were always guaranteed we could have something to eat. And I've just kept it over the years. Now look at that. Look at that as a piece of bacon. Does it get any better? Now one of the things you'll notice, compared to commercial bacon, this bacon doesn't shrink because it's not packed full of water and other sort of nitrates and all these other things that they pump into commercial bacon. Um, this doesn't shrink at all. Now obviously you don't need to go to these kind of lengths in order to get a decent bit of bacon. 
you can make a piece of bacon yourself and it's really easy you've seen how easy it was so whilst that's cooking we'll get the bread ready so we're going to start off with the smoked butter You remember we made our brown sauce? I've now called it fruity sauce. It's had a chance to set overnight, so let's have a look. Oh, look at that. That's gonna be good. Now you remember how easy it was to make this butter? All it was was double cream, or I think in some places they call it heavy cream. Put it in a food mixer, mix it up till it separates. take it out, wash out the buttermilk, which I have to say we then used to make some really gorgeous scones. Um, that was breakfast, that was really very nice. Add a little bit of salt to taste, and away we go. That was the butter salt. Now one of the other things you'll notice, there's very little fat or anything else coming off. So that's about the only little bit that's left that's coming out. Is it your mouth salivating now? I know mine is. I can't wait. Well, I say that's all about cooked now. Oh, that does look good. Now, you can't tell me that that doesn't look good. It's taken about a week to get to this point because we've made absolutely everything along the way. We made the bread, we made the bacon, we made the sauce, we made the butter. We cooked it in an oven that we also made, and the bacon was cooked in a frying pan that I made. Everything's cooked over a wood fire. Look at that. Ho, 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 ho. Well, it's taken a long time, but by God, we got there in the end. It's taken about a week to get to this point, but I'm really looking forward to it. Now, hopefully this has inspired you to try some of it for yourself. If you're interested and you enjoyed the videos, why not have a look at some of the other videos on my site? And do remember to press the like button at the end. Or even better, subscribe, or if you really get carried away, do both. Why not? Live dangerously. Um, it makes quite a difference to my life. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon. <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> In my world, this is about as good as it gets. Oh. I think while you're not looking, I might have another one. <laughs>